Welcome to the Anchored Voice. This is a podcast helping men to anchor life. I'm your host, Dr. Phil Tu. Welcome to the program. What's up, everybody? This is your host, Dr. Phil Tu, and I'm so happy to be with you today. Today, we've got an awesome, awesome subject that we're going to get into. Wow, there's been so much that's been happening in our nation, in our world. And, uh, you know, we we are just constantly bombarded with uh, so much anguish, so much stress. And I just want to talk about a subject today. Uh, Character matters. Character matters. Let me tell you something. Uh, It is so important to understand why character matters, especially today. Now, after uh, seeing the riots and after seeing so much um, happen in our society, I realize we've got to talk about character. So here we go. Into this subject The Anchored Voice. I'm your host, Dr. Phil Too, and this is The Anchored Voice, a podcast helping men to anchor life. All right, I'm going to go into a little commercial. This is sponsored by Chaplain Adrian Benton. This is a book called A Greater Force Than Failure. Are you ready for God to turn the pain of the past into purpose? Are you willing to let God remove the fears that are holding you back from living with boldness? Are you ready to move forward from your past and impact the lives of others around you? This book has answers. A Greater Force Than Failure is a call to action for men and women who are not perfect. This self-guided journal is created in mind for anyone who has ever failed on any level and ready to embrace the path to victory. Purchase her bestsellers list, Kindle Virgin, today at Amazon.com. Share with your friends and family this season. Visit her at www.forwardmovementministries.org. Chaplain Adrian Benton, Forward Movement Ministries. God is the greater force than failure. What's up, everybody? I'm your host, Dr. Phil Tu, and we are back. Uh, this is also sponsored by McGuire Wear. Uh, you can check us out at McGuireENT.com uh, backslash online store. So you can check us out and you can get, this is a shirt I have on, says I will not fear. I will not fear. There's a hoodie for the winter. You can get all kind in your season. So uh, thank you so much for joining in on the Anchored Voice. And you can check out our shirts there and uh, get your apparel. It is Fashion Your Faith time. Fashion Your Faith. So this is a subject today. And what we'd love for you to do is just go subscribe to our channel, uh, McGuire ENTV. So if you're watching on this channel, we'd just love for you to go ahead and subscribe. Go ahead and share this out. This is a podcast helping men to anchor life. We're going to talk about character for a little bit. Uh, After seeing the chaos at the Capitol, I realized how much more we have to start talking about character, the character of men, and how character of men is going to take you a very, very long way. It is important. (laughs) <laughs> it is important for men to have character. Um, it's important for men to develop character. Uh, I, I always quoted something that says, um, talent will get you where character can't keep you. So just having talent doesn't necessarily ensure that your talent will keep, that your character will keep you. I've seen so many um, sports. Uh, athletes, they get in because of their talent, 
but somewhere along the line, their character gets in the way. It shows up. It shows up in everything that they do. And after a while, they go from team to team, um, wondering where they're going to get their next shot. And some teams will, will give people an opportunity. Uh, they'll give people an opportunity to do what they have to do. Uh, but, you know, it, it, takes a, it takes away from the continuity of what they're doing. You see people at the job. And if they have a bad character and they continue to, to develop a bad character, they don't sustain that. So good characters uh, go along with decision making. Having a good character helps your ability to make good decisions. It's all about the decision making of your life. Like it doesn't matter that life went wrong. It doesn't matter that things happen in your life. It just matters that today you've decided to do something different. You've decided to develop your character. Why? Because character matters. In the long scheme of things, character goes a very long way. Now we saw so many people with bad character running through the Capitol. We saw so many men of bad character and we saw live it was like the new version of cops the new version of cops uh where you see people getting arrested left and right only you you get to see that after the event of course uh we you know we can address white privilege all day uh and it shows also that white privilege does not help good character it does not build good character. So it doesn't matter how much privilege you have. It doesn't matter how much people have taken care of you throughout your life or how much money you've had throughout your life. I mean, the people that were getting arrested are, are, are people that have had parents that have developed a good career, have money. Money was not an issue for them. Yet what they did not develop was a good character. We're talking about people getting arrested for the dumbest things. Um, they're doing crime on national TV and then getting upset when they get arrested. I, it, it didn't make sense. And it doesn't make sense. You know, um, sometimes what happens is a stupid can go a very long way in somebody's life that, you know, when we start making bad decisions, it, 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 it will be on full display. And when, you know, and, and really uh, a bad character is not always about making a bad decision. You can have a good character and make bad decisions. However, what happens when you have a good character and make bad decisions, it means that your character will speak for you. Your character will continue to help you uh, get over the bad decision or get over a mistake in your life. So it's not necessarily meaning that bad mistakes are developed from a bad character, but a bad character will continue to lead you down a wrong path. It will continue to help you make bad decisions. However, a good character, a good character will carry you through life. And, you know, uh, people will be able to say, wow, man, you know, that, that, you know, just from meeting you, because you've developed your character, because you have developed this thing in your life, people from the first time they meet you will be impacted by the character that you develop. So I want to say that character matters. Three ways that you can develop your character. Uh, it's a thing called traits, all right? Everyone has a thing called traits. Now, traits are defined as a habitual pattern of thought, habitual patterns of thought, behavior and emotion that are considered to be relatively stable in individuals across situations and over time. So meaning that you have some patterns that you have developed over time. These are your traits. This is what makes you you. However, when you are developing your character and you realize some traits aren't good, some traits are just not beneficial to my life, you are then able to develop a new pattern. And it takes work. It takes effort. But you have to then decide, hey, you know what? Uh, I've been doing it this way. It hasn't worked. Let me try it that way. So developing new traits, there is the ability 
to develop new traits in your life that will give you great success. It means that, hey, listen, you know what? This has been me. Uh, I'm more of an introvert, uh, you know, and, and that's just me, you know. But being an introvert or an extrovert doesn't mean that I have to be an extrovert or an introvert 100%. Now, me, I'm an extrovert, all right? But there are days where I love to be that introvert. Okay, there are situations where it shifts, it changed. And uh, as much as outgoing as I am, I can just go right back into my little cave, not want to be bothered by anybody, not want to uh, go out there and, and do anything. However, uh, a person that's an introvert may find that there is a time that, you know what, I've got to stop. I got to step out of my comfort zone. I got to step out of the bubble. I've got to go out and get some stuff. Even though this is kind of how I'm built, I have to develop a certain way. I have to develop a certain pattern if I want to get to where I want to be. So in developing character, it does mean that trait. So let me go back over the meaning again. Traits are defined as habitual patterns of thought. Okay. So these are patterns, how you think. How you continue to think, uh, how you continue to behave, uh, the emotions that come out of this that are considered to be relatively stable in individuals across situations over time. So whichever situation you find yourself in, these traits will come out and these traits will start to speak to who you are and, and how you behave. So traits are one thing. Uh, but then it also goes into your value system. All right. Everybody has values. They have a value system and that value system is going to take you very far. What does this mean? Values are beliefs that people have about what is important or worthwhile to them. All right. So values, beliefs that people have about uh, what's important or worthwhile. What is important to you? What is that thing that is a motivation to you? Uh, and, and let me tell you something. When you understand your values, you'll understand who you need to get married to. You'll understand who you roll with as far as friendships, relationships, uh, the church that you go to, the church that you don't go to, the organization that you're a part of. Those values are very important. The team that you might root for. Uh, it doesn't matter. I've realized Christian or not, everybody has a value system that they live by, something that is important to them. And when you have a value system, it kind of sets in place, okay, these are the things that I'm going to get involved in. These are the things that I'm not going to get involved in. Value systems. Um, and you know, I, what, what was funny about uh, what happened at the Capitol, the riots that happened at the Capitol on January 6, 2021, is that it, it seemed like so many people did not think it through. There are people that just did not have, they had a real bad value system. They did not have good traits. And uh, the next one I'm going to go into is virtues. Uh, they, they definitely did not have good virtues. But it, it, there, were, there was just some common sense. Uh, and I know that in certain communities, man, before you do something, you always have to know the law. You always have to know what the consequences are. You have to know, hey, man, yo, if you breach that door, yo, man, that's that's five to ten right there. Man, you know, don't do this or, or you're going to get that big. You, there has got to be a point in life where... Uh, you think through the consequences and and think through, man, what's going to happen if if this if this is not the right way to go? Um, and, and so oftentimes we just don't think through the um, consequences. And I saw a lot of that last week. I saw a lot of that last week that there were people who were actually not thinking through the uh consequences they they weren't thinking about what could happen next what what is the overall agenda that i'm trying to get to and, and then what happens is and and listen it's not just white it's not just black it's people it's humanity 
you you think about who you're fighting for and what you're fighting for. You you sometimes you could be fighting for people that have no interest in you. It's like being a sports fan and and we fight over teams. We get mad, we get emotional over players who don't even know us personally. Players who have no care in the world about what we're doing tomorrow or the next day. They, they say, yeah, you know, the fans, we're here for the fans, but they don't know us. They're making millions of dollars whether they win or lose. And, you know, at the end of the day, we spend money to support our teams. We buy the uniforms. We buy the shirts, the jerseys. We buy the apparel. We spend money to be fans, yet the ones that are playing the game are actually making all the money that we spend to support them. So we've got to decide who are we fighting for? What are we getting out of this? And that's where it comes to virtues. We need to have some virtues. How to develop a character. You develop char uh, characters, uh, virtues. Let's, let's define uh, what virtues are. Uh, I, and I got this from uh, a powerful website and uh, gave me some great, great tips as far as uh, character and developing. And, uh, you know, it, it, it was really all about uh, coming to this conclusion here. From the time of the ancient Greeks, philosophers have defined certain clusters of traits and values and behaviors as good and referred to them as virtues. So it's kind of a combination of the traits and the values that we have and, you know, they turn into virtues. Of course, if you grew up in the church, you know, Philippians 4, 8 says, Finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things, whatever things are noble, whatever things are just, whatever things are pure, whatever things are lovely, whatever things are of good report, if there's any virtue, and if there's any praiseworthy, meditate on these things. And it's talking about Letting your mind meditate on what is positive. Letting your mind meditate on something that is beneficial to your life, beneficial to your career. We're talking about really uh, developing your character, developing your mindset, developing who you are, and uh, being able to have that character grow and benefit not only you. But the people around you, because that's important at the end of the day. It is important at the end of the day that our character is developed in this way. Uh, and so what I start to see is that people that start to develop their character now develop everything else around them. They develop whether the books that they read. Uh, they develop. And, and as a matter of fact, you can go to our website, McGuire ENT. You can go to our website, McGuire ENT. You can order our book, Lessons for the Journey. You can go to, um, you can go to Amazon and get this book, Lesson, Lessons for the Journey. I wrote this with two authors, two other authors. And my section is me, my selfie, and I am. And we talk about our stories. We talk about our journey and testimonies and things like that. That's going to help in your character. Uh, we're, we're talking about character matters. And please, if you're watching this video at any point, we'd love for you to go and subscribe to our channel, McGuire ENTV on YouTube. Uh, we are just showing this on YouTube. And we are also on Podbean, Stitcher, Google Play. Uh, Amazon, uh, we're on uh, Apple Podcasts. So, so check out our podcast, Spotify. Check out our podcast also. This will be on audio. And, and you'll check out this uh, story, Character Matters. It also helps you to develop your uh, skills in your career. Character helps you develop. It sustains your progress in your career. Uh, there, there are jobs you will get. Now, it doesn't guarantee that you'll keep a job. It doesn't guarantee that um, you'll make a lot of money. It just guarantees that you will sustain uh, a certain look, a certain atmosphere in life, a certain attitude in life. And that attitude will help you from giving up. 
It will help you from walking in a different direction. Here are some other character traits. I'm just going to throw out some words um, that help develop your character. When you talk about humility, uh, humility will help develop a character. Now, you've seen that we have served under a leader um, for some time that did not have this trait, did not have this. And it shows, it's like, man, and, and the people that support kind of throw this away. They, they toss it out of the window as if this, this is something that does not matter. Something that just doesn't, you know, as long as the, the business gets done, I need somebody who's a little bit more confident. Well, humility does not mean that you are not confident. Humility does not mean that you are not uh, strong at who you are and where you are. It just simply means, humility just simply means, listen, I know there's a time where I got to scale it back. I know there's a time where I've just got to kind of be in the back and then I can support in the front. But that's what humility means, okay? It's it's being humble. It's, it's not being soft. It's not being weak. And maybe we're going to have to spend a whole uh, podcast on what humility means. Means that, you know, having integrity, especially if you're a leader in this world, it is a good thing to have integrity. We are going to need integrity. Leaders should have integrity. And, and you may not have a position as a leader, but you might be a leader of your home. You might be a leader in your pack. It is a great thing to have integrity collaboration. It means that you know how to work well with others. It means that, hey, you know, McGuire Entertainment Group really is about collaboration. I love collaborating with other uh, ministries, with other um, organizations that are doing good in the community, that have integrity, that have humility. Uh, I, I love collaborating. This is what we're built on. We're built on working and supporting others. Uh, we support people's book projects. We support people's music. Uh, we support people's art. We support uh, people's uh, motivational speaking. We, we promote and we collaborate to get things done. Sometimes it is better to work with people rather than to continually be in competition. And I know no matter what you do, you'll be in competition somehow. But it's a good thing. I, I believe in the power of collaboration. Another way of developing character is to know justice, to embrace justice, to embody justice. Uh, it's about helping people get justice. And I know that in order to, um, I guess, defend the actions at the Capitol, uh, people had to go after Black Lives Matter, who was fighting for justice. You know, uh, Black Lives Matter protesters or, or believers or organizers, you know, in order to say, well, you know, the, the BLM caused this. Therefore, um, you know, the, that's why the riots happened. No, you, you cannot equate the two. Are you fighting for justice for people? Are you fighting for the justice of the poor? Are you fighting for justice of people who don't have much, who, who can't get much? What are you fighting for? And, and, and so when you have justice as, uh, as a motivation, it, it goes a long way. Do you have courage to stand against evils of this world? Do you have the courage to just be positive, no matter how much you get ridiculed? Do you have courage? Courage goes into developing character. Temperance also goes into developing your character. Listen, you know, um, this, the beginning of 2021, I went on a fast and I tell you, it is helping me with my temperance. It is like, eh, you don't need that extra or you don't really need that. You know, <laughs> you, you don't need this. You actually need to step away from that. And, um, it, it goes a long way. Then good judgment. Uh, men, we have to really develop our character by practicing good judgment. Now, you know there are some places that are not good for us to go. We know that there are some people that are just not good in, good for us to be around. Uh, you know, it's not helping us. It's not creating the atmosphere that we need. Sometimes we get pressured into making bad decisions. 
but a good character, you continue to develop good judgment and you'll care about humanity, which goes along with justice. Now, this quote from uh, Abraham Lincoln really blew my mind. It says, nearly all men can stand adversity, but if you want to test a man's character, give him power. Woo! Mm. Wow. Nearly all men can stand adversity, but if you want to test a man's character, give him power. There are just some people who cannot handle power. And it doesn't matter what kind of power. You can give them small power, just a little bit of power, a little bit of a leadership position somewhere, or you can give him the greatest nation in the world, a leadership position. And and let me tell you something. You will see the true character come out of a man in giving him power. It's not about adversity. It's not about, man, you know, he went through a lot. No, give him everything that he needs. Give him every resource that he needs, and you will see what kind of character he develops or has or has developed. Uh, and, and, and I thought that was powerful by Abraham Lincoln, which was our president at one point, uh, the point where he needed to make a decision to sign the Emancipation Proclamation. And right now has pretty much the biggest memorial in Washington, D.C. But that is true. It is true. You want to test a man's character, give him power. Oh, man. This other quote here, uh, of course, we know this is from, I'll just read it. I look to a day when people will not be judged by the color of their skin, but by the content of their character. Of course, from the I Have a Dream speech by Martin Luther King Jr. And did you also know that Martin Luther King Jr.'s name, my wife just told me, so yes, I am bringing this out, uh, and I knew this, I knew this, but did you know, did you know that Martin Luther King Jr.'s name was actually Michael? All right, his, he was born Michael King, uh, but later on his father uh, went to Europe, really got inspired, came back, and they both changed the names to Martin Luther King. So you have Martin Luther King Sr., Martin Luther King Jr., and that's how that came to be. So he's looking to the day where we're not judged by the color of our skin, by the content. And that, again, it means that we have to develop our character even more. It doesn't matter what color you are. It just matters that you continue to say, listen, what's of a good character? How do I develop this? Uh, look at this quote here. It says, man looks into, man looks in the abyss. There's nothing staring back at him. At that moment, man finds his character. And that is what keeps him out of the abyss written by Hal Holbrook. I love it. Man looks into the abyss, nothing staring back at him. At the moment, he finds his character. He's like, yeah, I can't go under. I can't get out of there. I've got to go higher. And this is a podcast helping men to anchor life. If you want to really anchor life, if you want to anchor your way out of bad decision making, if you really want to anchor your way out of um, things that continue to tear you down, it is all about developing that character. God, help me with my character. God, how do I develop a better character? How do I, be, uh, how do I become a better man to my family? How do I become a better man to society? And it does not matter where you started. It does not matter what situation you got yourself in. Today is the day that you decide character matters. It has to be this day that you say to yourself, man, you know, I, I can't live like this any longer. Character matters throughout the whole thing. It, it, it really comes to the point that uh, developing my character will help me succeed in life, will help me win in life, will help me be the best I can be in this situation. And, um, it was, you know, there, there are some really bad character decisions I've made in life, really bad, just horrible. 
And I had to look back and be like, man, you know, what do I want my life to be? What do I want to turn out to be at the end of the day? What is it that's going to drive me? What is it that's going to keep me and propel me to success? And it's character. It really matters. It goes a long way. Listen, I'm your host, Dr. Phil, too. I just wanted to share some time with you. Uh, and, and say, listen, you know, what's going on in this world, it comes down to character at the end of the day. We need more men of good character. We need more men that are developing their character every day. So men, let, let's get to it. It's, it's crazy out there, but all hope is not lost. We do have a bright future ahead. I can't wait for it. All right, everybody, thank you so much uh, for uh being a part of this podcast for listening in. I am your host, Dr. Phil Too, and this is the Anchor Voice, a podcast helping men to anchor life. Thank you for listening to the Anchor Voice. For the video edition of this, subscribe to our YouTube channel, McGuire ENTV. For audio, listen on Podbean, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Play or Stitcher. Until next time, stay anchored.